Every morning I come on air bright and early and you welcome me into your home. When I leave the station, I'm a new mom just trying to figure things out like so many of you. Recently I was told that Thea has two conditions, torticollis and plagiocephaly, one of which affects nearly half of all babies. My mind was flooded with questions, grief, and a lot of guilt. I remember it like it was yesterday, that appointment was the day of Sunfest. I think between shots I had tears in my eyes. You can ask my husband, I, I cried and cried and researched and researched way too much, just not knowing, not knowing what it meant. Okay, who's ready? Ready to go, oh, go, go? What a good girl. Got a new outfit on showing. Oh yeah. <laughs> you take your let's helmet take off. off. Yep, let's take our okay. helmet off. Good girl. Okay. She likes this part. Once, sometimes twice a week, this is where Thea and I spend our afternoon. Ready, set, go. Let's stretch it up. Good girl. You want to see this one? This is your favorite. Let's go this way. Good girl. We're here with Thea's physical therapist, Joan Hooks, to correct a condition called torticollis. A typical torticollis mm -hmm. is a shortening of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is a muscle on the side of your neck. And when it's short, it will make your neck tilt and then often rotate as well. Big boo. Looking back, Thea's baby pictures show a clear picture of her torticollis. See her little head tilted to the right? But I had never heard of the diagnosis, so it was a shock. I would imagine I'm not alone. You probably hear my story a lot. Right, and the guilt part. And but it's, it is very treatable. If, if it's a typical torticollis, it's a shortening of the muscle, it takes time and, and again, the team effort in order to get it done. It's, it's not a quick fix. Turns out that constant tilt led to yet another problem. Okay, you ready? Huh? I'm gonna do it again. Thea has a flat spot on the side of her head. It's called plagiocephaly. In Thea's case, she has torticollis. So with torticollis, it's very difficult for parents to reposition or for her even to reposition herself because of that tight neck muscle. So she's always going to want to lay kind of in the same spot. And that's where the helmet comes in. Thea would have to wear one to reshape her head. Take away the possible discomfort that she might feel, which is what we initially were super worried about and we're still worried about. It was, is she going to be okay? Alisa yeah. DeYoung, Hi. a certified licensed orthicist and prosthetist, is the one who shapes Thea's helmet. The helmet is very light and made of foam. This eventually gets ground down further um, as she continues to correct and grow. The whole point is to have it fitted on one side of her head so there's room to grow on the flat side. Now we're ready to go check the fit. Here she comes. You ready? So I took um, a little off of both cheeks, okay. um, especially this one, because when she's flat on the one angle, she's typically a little bit flatter on the opposite front. On this day, we were about a month and a half into our helmet journey. You're going to look a little funny. And we decided to take a scan to see her progress. It takes that. instantaneous pictures all the way around her head. She was at like a 13 something. 13 millimeters. And she's now down she's to. She's now down to four or five, about four and, or five. And the goal would be? The goal ultimately is zero, but it all depends on her growth rate. Mm -hmm. Progress, but still a long ways to go. She's much smoother yeah. than we are. <laughs> Today, uh -huh. it's back home, trying yeah, to go on with our daily routine. Here we go. Wee! Wee! That's fun stuff. With a pretty helmet bow to spruce it up. There you have it. 23 hours a day for four months. She wore this little helmet right here, and I'm happy to report this evening that the journey is behind us. I mean, but in the grand scheme of things, this was just a bump in the road. Oh, it absolutely was. You're going to see a lot more babies, actually, Felicia, with helmets like these. And it appears that we have. I mean, we've talked about this in the time that Thea was diagnosed and had to wear this. I mean, we, we certainly have been seeing more kids with these helmets. And as I mentioned at the beginning, 47% of babies born today have some kind of a flat head syndrome, as it's called, and it's because of the back to sleep program. 1994, they implemented it to help with SIDS, sudden mm -hmm. infant death syndrome, and it's worked, and that's the best part. And so doctors and therapists, they're all out there saying, listen, keep, oh, there you go, <laughs> keep putting your babies on their back because 
this is just a minor side effect, and as you can see, it is very treatable, but it's something you want to stay on top of. Right, it's something to talk to your doctor about. 100%. All right, Thea, and you look adorable, yeah, honey. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing your story Thank with us. Thank you, Aaron. and we're happy to be done. So much support out there. We really appreciate uh, it. We're happy to see you, Thea. <laughs>